Here's my mom's chocolate cake that I'm low-carbing for you today. We're going to start out with a cup of sweeteners, which consists of a half a cup of Splenda, a fourth a cup of Xylitol, and a fourth a cup of Diabeta Sweet. And then I'm adding a half a cup of cocoa. We're going to add one fourth cup of melted coconut oil, or you can use butter. And then we're going to add two large eggs. I was doing this with one hand and holding the camera in the other, so excuse some of the camera shots. Then I got a half a cup of coconut milk here and you could use um, whatever low-carb milk or cream or half and half. I happen to have some coconut milk. It worked out pretty good. And we're going to have two teaspoons of vanilla added here. One half teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of baking powder I have in this little cup. We're going to add our flours, which is two cups of low-carb flours, and mine was a combination of a cup of almond meal, half a cup of flax meal, a fourth a cup of wheat protein isolate, and one fourth cup of carbolose. But you can just make this with all almond meal, or half a cup of almond meal, or half almond meal and half flax meal if you want. Um, try it the way you like it. I might just do it with half almond meal and half flax meal next time, but I really like the consistency that this came out with. And then you're going to pour one cup of hot water overall. And I really don't know why it's hot, but maybe because of the shortening that was in the original recipe, but um, my mother always said, make sure it's hot. So I do. Just mix it with your mixer. Start out on low speed until it's incorporated. Scrape the sides well, and then beat it on high for about two minutes. You want to preheat your oven to about 350 degrees. Spray a, a medium-sized bunt pan with a non-stick spray. And then just pour your batter out into your bun pan. This is a very chocolatey chocolate cake. I love it. Everybody in our family love this cake and everybody who had my mom's chocolate cake always asked for more. This is what we had for birthdays when I was growing up, so it's a comfort food for me, I guess. Here's what the batter looks like in the bun pan. That's about how high it comes. And then put it in your 350 degree oven on your middle rack. And uh, you need to bake it for about 40 to 45 minutes or a little longer. Test it to see if it's done. Make sure that the knife comes out clean and that um, it pulls away from the sides of the pan. You want to make sure it's done because otherwise it's going to fall and it won't come out of your bun pan very well. This is what mine looked like when it came out of the oven. Let it completely cool on a wire rack and then turn your bun pan upside down on a cake plate and this is what it looks like. For the frosting, um, we're going to do three tablespoons of butter unsweetened, one ounce of unsweetened chocolate, I mean 
I meant for the butter unsalted, not unsweetened, sorry. Add a cup of my powdered sugar substitute, which uh, the recipe is on my my blog, and uh, it's below too. It's just a combination of Splenda and Xylitol that I make in my blender. And then just mix that. Um, I think next time I would mix that with a spoon to start out with until it's all mixed together because I ended up with a mess there. But um, just mix it up a little bit and then it's, it's pretty thick. You're going to have to drizzle some hot water in there. And then just keep drizzling and mixing until you get it to the, a glaze consistency. It's going to come out um, really nice and shiny and you don't want it too thick but you don't want it too thin either. Um, just like you would if you're used to glazing a bundt cake, just make sure um, you add just enough for the right consistency. Don't overdo it. Very, very chocolatey. I just added a little more hot water. Mix, 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 mix it some more. So it comes out nice and smooth and shiny and that's what it looks like. And then you're just going to pour it around the top of the bundt cake. And it'll drizzle down the sides. Oh, so chocolatey. It wasn't too much different than my mom's chocolate original chocolate cake wasn't the same thing exactly I mean you know you can't get a real chocolate cake other than a real chocolate cake but for a low carb chocolate cake this was I think pretty darn close to the real thing and I just spread it around the top and let it drizzle down the sides Lots of chocolate. Wonderful, sweet chocolate. Mm -mm -mm. Here we are. Have a friend over, put on the coffee pot, get a slice of cake. Have a good time. Thanks for watching.